Hi, and welcome to another video from MathsRevision.net, the cosine rule. This is a follow-on from our video on sines, which can be found on the link posted below. Now, cosine rule is different as it allows us to find out sides and angles where the sine rule is less appropriate. Our two examples of where this may happen are when we have three missing side lengths, or where the letter for an angle appears in a consecutive order with the sides that surround it. For example here, our angle B falls between A and C, so it's A, B, C. These are the three cosine rules we need to remember, so write them down and memorise them as best you can before your exam. So if we plug in some numbers for our example using a problem where we have our side A and side C with angle B in between, so we have A, B, C. If we're looking for our side length B, which we know will be opposite our angle B, then the easiest formula to use will be our second formula, B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine B. So, with the information we have, we know B squared will equal 10 squared, where our side is 10, plus 15 squared, where our side C is 15, minus 2 times our side 10 times our side C 15, times again by the cosine of 49, which is our angle B. So below, we write B squared equals 100, as this is 10 squared, plus 225, as this is our C squared, minus 196.8177, which is our answer for 2 times 10 times 15 times cosine 49. It's good practice of any maths question to keep a set amount of decimal places for the entire process, so here we'll stick to four decimal places for our whole example. Below, we can further simplify our expressions by writing b squared equals 325 minus 196.8177. When we work out this expression, we reach the answer 128.1823, which we know will be our b squared. But, as we know, this is not our final result, as we need to find b on its own. So, to get an answer that is not squared, we simply use our calculator square root function and enter our 128.1823 to get the answer 11.3218 remembering to keep to our four decimal place rule. So, we know that our side equals 11.3218. Also remember, we haven't put in a unit of measurement, but it's most likely your exam paper will have one, so remember to add this at the end. So we work through just one example in here, but the rules are relatively simple and all adhere to the same principle. If you're still having trouble, click the link below for further help of how to apply the cosine rule. Thanks again for watching, and as ever, please subscribe for more maths videos, or go to mathsrevision.net for more material on GCSE and A-level maths.